In this video, we're going to be unboxing the Vituvia SN100 hunting fat tire e-bike. Let's check it out. Hey, this is Nelson. Welcome back to the e-riders channel. Uh, today we have the Vituvia fat tire e-bike. I want to give a shout out to Vituvia. They sent this e-bike to us uh, for review and testing, and we're going to check it out. I don't know if I got the black one or the camouflage one yet, and it's the camo one. Uh, <laughs> you know what? This is exactly uh, the one that you, you might see Arnold Schwarzenegger riding around in California. He had uh, the camouflage one. He, the paparazzi follows him around a lot and captures some of these videos and pictures. All right, let's check out the rest of the box. And yeah, we're cutting off some of the plastic ties. Um, everything is mostly wrapped in the uh, bubble wrap or the uh, styrofoam sheets. We got some styrofoam blocks. The box uh, that it got shipped in was in pretty good shape, um, which is really rare, but uh, so we got lucky. Uh, nothing appeared to be damaged or anything like that. Now, before taking the whole bike out, because um, these bikes are in the 70 pound range, uh, if you can loosen the, the tire, the uh, the loose tire that's uh, strapped onto the bike, just cut the little plastic straps off and then take the tire out by itself. That'll make it a lot easier pulling the rest of the bike out. Also inside the box, uh, we have this accessories box with some marketing pictures on it, which is pretty cool. Most most accessory boxes have nothing, just cardboard. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. Oh, look at that. Really easy to take out once that tire was out. All right, so there you go. That's the bike all wrapped up. And we'll continue to take the wrappings off. As I'm taking the wrappings off, you can see the bike, but up close, I, I'm actually paying attention to the frame and the design. Uh, it's really thick. The welds, they look really strong. And uh, I've seen a lot of bikes, and this is a, is, is, a, is a different frame design than the rest I've seen. And Now, we w I will be doing a review video, a detailed uh, review video, so be sure to check that out. But today we're just doing an unboxing and assembly. So uh, be sure to uh, you know follow the channel. That way you can check out that review video of this bike at a later date. All right. First, what we're going to do is put on the handlebars. It's always nice to put the handlebars on first. That way they're out of the way and not dangling on the side while you're putting on the tire or pedals. And you just take the four screws out of the bracket, the handlebar bracket that's on the stem. And then line it up, the bracket, and, and then screw it in back to about halfway. You don't have to tighten it because we're going to tighten it later as when we get the tire up. That'll, you know, put the whole front end upward and that way we'll be able to decide what angle we want to handlebars. So right now I can tell they're using a Pro Max handlebar so and, and you can see they even have you know a full hydraulic uh, brake lever we're gonna take the battery off and we're gonna charge that up while we assemble the bike but first uh, we're going to go ahead and check out the accessories box because we need the charger 
All right, opening it up, you, you got the manual. And we got the left and right pedals. We have some tools. We're going to use mostly our own tools. And then we have the quick release skewer. And here's the, uh, the charger to charge the battery. That way we can get some juice in the battery. It looked like it was almost full, but we're going to charge it up even more. That way it'll be ready, hopefully, by the time we're done. All right, so we're going to start putting the tire on. So we had to take off the little protective piece that they had at the bottom of the forks. Now we're going to take our skewer. We're going to leave one spring on one end. And we're going to poke it through the axle. Take off the plastic guard for the, the rotor. And put the skewer through. And then put the other spring. Remember the small end of the spring inward and the big end of the spring outward toward the, the nut. And go ahead and screw it on a little bit. Not all the way, just a little bit. That way the forks will fit right in without sliding off the threads just makes it easier to line up but you also have to line up the brakes get that rotor that disc rotor right in between the brake pads and then it should just fall right on in and you can tight just like that and then you can tighten it up not all the way because you got that quick release on the other side did you need some tension to tighten it so you're just gonna have to work it until you reach the desired tension a little bit more and there we go nice and tight all right front wheel that was easy 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 now that we got the bike upright we're gonna straighten out the the, uh, the whole handlebar set with the tire because it was a little crooked so we're gonna loosen up the sides right where the the adjustable stem is and that is an adjustable stem uh, usually bikes don't come with adjustable stems I prefer stems adjustable stems because I like to always raise the uh, the handlebars a little higher so I'm always buying stems to do so you don't have to buy an adjustable stem it comes with it thank thank goodness so right here we, we just decided it was a little loose we're gonna tighten up a little bit more All right, now we're gonna adjust it upward. Now, of course, we're gonna tighten it down, but because we have it upright so far, we're gonna have to readjust the handlebars accordingly. And then we'll probably re also have to readjust the display. That was very important when you're dealing with uh, handlebars. Everything needs to be pretty tight. Uh, the handlebars, loose handlebars, are almost the number one, maybe in the top three reasons of bike accidents, is that it's not tight. Uh, people put a lot of weight when they lean forward on those bars, and if they're not tight, they can cause a lot of problems. So here we're just loosening it up a little bit so that we can... Readjust the handlebars. And uh, we'll be talking more about this bike in the review videos. Like I said, be sure to check that out. Uh, it's coming soon. Be loading that, uploading that up soon. And just hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss it. That way you'll be alerted. All right. I think we got the right position. And uh, we're tightening it up.
And we're going to adjust the display. I still keep the stickers on all the all the electronics, you know, they put that little protective film over it because I don't, uh, you know, I don't keep these bikes for maybe more than a year or so. Um, I might do uh, uh, some giveaways. Um, I do have a giveaway going on uh, around 5,000 subscribers, but uh, I usually keep the plastic on everything just to keep it protected just in case. So you put the pedals on. Now, of course, that's the right pedal, so everything goes, you know, clockwise, real easy. And then the left side pedal. Uh, when you're dealing with the left side, it's counterclockwise. That was the uh, Vituvia SN100 assembly. And if you want to know more about the Vituvia lineup of bikes, go ahead and check out their website. Link down below in the description. And I will check you guys out in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back.